what's going on everyone this is going to be a little uh quickie of sorts now this is news that i saw a few days ago but i've only just gotten around to uh talking about today and that's um about the that prototype um nintendo playstation because you remember back in the day uh uh, Nintendo had to deal with Sony and they were going to make a disc add-on for the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom as well too, blah blah blah, you know how that went. It was a big fucking mess, um, but they found, some someone um, who posted it online found the prototype console of the Nintendo PlayStation and um, recently it was brought out to Hong Kong and put on display there at some sort of gaming expo or something like that. I don't know all of the official details, but it was put on display there, and they tested it. They turned it on, and they put games in it, and it works. It fucking works. Um, it plays Super Famicom games. Um, like, they, there's actual... There's pictures and footage of it working. I've seen the pictures, but... I, I'm sure there's some footage crawling around out there um, uh, from someone out there, but I don't happen to have any. Um, if, if I have any, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly put it up in a different video talking about this, but I thought this is really awesome. Um, seeing an old piece of history like this, I mean, I, this thing's probably going to be sold for like a couple million dollars, uh, if not, you know, infinitely more than that, because this is definitely a massive, massive collector's item. And now that we know it's legit, or at least know for the most part that it's legit, we can really just, uh, sort of sit back and watch the events sort of unfold and as to uh, who's going to end up getting this. And I do hope that it does um, go into the hands of a museum <clears throat> as opposed to a collector because if it does go into just some random person that no one knows, I mean, are you exactly sure what they're going to do, do with it? I mean, you wouldn't necessarily want them tearing it apart and looking in there because it's a piece of history. And as far as we know, there's only one. So I would, I would, I would prefer if this thing went into some sort of gaming museum. Um, I know Sony and Nintendo don't want to touch the fucking thing. They don't want to even look at it. They don't care because they don't want to relive what happened in the nineties. They don't, they just don't give a shit. They don't want to touch it. So it's probably not going to go into any sort of Nintendo museum or anything Sony has. I don't even think they have any museums. They probably own something in, in, in that regard, but I, I wouldn't know. Um, but I, 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 this is really awesome, and uh, I've got some pictures scrolling up on, uh, on the screen there. And I, I don't know. Uh, I'm just curious as to what's going to happen. So uh, if you guys have any thoughts on this, just put them down in the comments. Make sure not to start dumbass arguments, and I'll see you guys later.